and I invite without much ado, Braj Mohan Singh. Uh, first of all, thank you uh, all the friends. We have uh, got a galaxy of uh, writers and thought leaders from across the country, across the world rather. It was captivating, uh, really nice to uh, listen to Christine. She was so nice. She talked from her heart and all the previous speakers who uh, put their words in very uh, simple thought. Uh, first of all, I thank uh, my dear friend, Rajkishore Gupta ji, uh, who thought about the COVID-19 pause and how this book came into being, came into existence. It was month of March. It was the peak of COVID period in India when uh, the lockdown was announced. That was in uh, month of March. If I uh, recall the date uh, correctly, it was precisely 24th of March when the lockdown was announced uh, across the country. And that time I was in Hyderabad. That was in South uh, part of the country and uh, it was the peak of uh, corona period in India. We were dealing with uh, cases, uh, loads of cases from uh, across the country. I was heading one of the largest digital uh, platform at that point of time in Hyderabad and cases were coming from uh, across the country. We were getting news that uh, people are uh, suffering in Bihar, people are suffering from Uttar Pradesh the most affected area in Maharashtra, Kerala, and uh, part of Punjab also. Still, uh, if you share uh, my exper experience, how I dealt with Corona. Uh, I got uh, Corona affected in month of September when I was living alone in uh, Hyderabad. And uh, my family was staying away uh, around uh, 2,200 kilometers away from me. And uh, it was a really difficult time, but uh, we fought it out, no doubt about it. And several of my friends, they, they were away from home and they, they fought it out. So how you deal with and how you cope with the uh, difficult times, that is uh, more important. And as we all know, uh, India has dealt with uh, COVID-19 very bravely. And uh, when it started, it all started in India. We were not in position to produce a... a N95 mask and see the time now. Uh, we have been supplying uh, vaccine to almost 80, 90 countries across the, con across the world. We are second only to United States in terms of vaccination. And that is great achievement. And uh, India is a leader now in terms of supplying uh, free vaccines to uh, all the brothers and sisters of the world. It's, it's a really great moment. I've seen the facilities in Hyderabad where uh, this vaccine is produced. Uh, COVID uh, vaccine, co-vaccine. It's one of the largest in the world. And the time will come when India will lead uh, in this front and India will become one of the largest uh, uh, pharma producers across the, across, the, across the globe. And that's how India has taken this opportunity. And I think uh, on individual front, Everyone has reinvented uh, themselves, no doubt about it. This is an opportunity, this is a challenge, and this is an opportunity as well as for all of us to reinvent yourself. How you re reinvent yourself? Don't, don't, don't surrender yourself. Challenge is before all of us. And I've seen millions of people walking on the road, walking on the highways. You must have seen uh, all the uh, guest speakers. You, you have, you must have seen, gone through those visuals, people walking thousands of kilometers from, I've seen people walking from Hyderabad to Patna. It's more than uh, 1500 kilometers walking on the road in 45 degrees Celsius. And how people back home in Bihar, how people are reinventing themselves. They're doing, they have started jobs in their villages. I've been to some of the villages in Bihar, smaller villages. They have women, uh, Hundreds of women, they have formed uh, associations and they have started working. They, they are producing things. They are taking help of uh, internet and they're selling their goods across the country, across the world. So that is how you have to accept the challenge. And I think India has done well on that front. Though we have lost our friend, you all know that uh, soldiers and journalists, we go to the field when everything is bad outside. You have to go in the field. In that process, we have lost hundreds of friends. 
hundreds of field reporters we have lost not only in india but across the across the world so i pay homage on behalf of all of us all the friends those who who are into the fire line so this opportunity has been great and uh, braj kishor gupta my friend learned friend he has done well by uh, inviting all of us and this is sort of a history and when we go out 30 years later this will be document in our hand and we will make movies we will produce movies we will produce further books so time is very short and i i am very happy that i could uh, speak my mind because time was really very short and i thank you all the friends all the dignitaries all, right. all the all right. writers thank you so much once again all right all right uh, prad mohan singh i totally agree i totally agree that a lots of leverers lots of leverers walked 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 and walked but they they knew baitha hua tha soch mein baitha hua tha soch mein hairan bahut tha jab chal pada to rasta aasan bahut tha once they started they found the way no more tough that was the reason those leverers went on foot my friend 